the non-aligned movement has provided Iran with solid grounds to enhance its presence in Africa. In the last two decades, Iran succeeded in expanding its bilateral relationships in several African states. Aid, healthcare centers and trade are among the Iranian strategies to establish a physical existence to its organizations in Africa. In return, Tehran could easily claim political alliances in the international community whenever needed. Congo has been one of the African states that is feared to be assisting Iran in its nuclear program. In 2006, a shipment of uranium-238, the fissile material necessary for nuclear enrichment, bound for Iran, was intercepted. The Congolese government denied the accusations, but the UN continued to express concerns over nuclear theft. In Ethiopia, the Iranian influence could easily bypass the American and Israeli politics. Iran was given the opportunity to increase its investments in the private sector, especially in agriculture and natural resources. For Zimbabwe, ties with Iran have been noticeably growing stronger for at least 15 years. Humanitarian aid comprises a significant component of Iran-Zimbabwe relations, and Tehran announced that it has sent at least 93 aid shipments to Harare on several occasions. The peak cooperation between the two countries goes back to the year 2000, when President Mugabe initiated a diplomatic initiative known as Look East Policy, in which he sought to strengthen ties with Asian and Middle Eastern nations, including Iran. And myself, a few years later, have, uh, the presidents of both countries announced what they called a coalition of peace, following negative statements about the two regimes from US President George W. Bush. Iran's operation in Somalia takes a bit of a different shape. Iran was accused of supplying the Somali insurgent Union of Islamic Courts militia with weapons, including machine guns, surface-to-air missiles, rocket launchers and landmines, in exchange for the right to utilize Somalian uranium deposits. That fact has led repeatedly to diplomatic crises between Tehran and Mogadishu.